You know, if there was any one single most important aspect to developing and beginning improvising, it would be, in my opinion, learning to play the blues. I mean, of course, right after learning your major skills and the things that we covered in part one of this series. But the blues is really right at the heart of the music. You know, a lot of music in um, uh, Western civilization kind of evolved from the blues, the jazz, rock and roll, country and western music, all of these things have their roots deeply situated and oriented in the blues. And like I was saying, jazz is certainly no exception. You know, you really have to be able to play the blues. Now, the blues comes at many different levels. We've got complicated blues, you know, Charlie Parker blues. <laughs> You know, the, you know, bebop blues, um, all the way down to just uh, good old-fashioned swing blues. And I think that's where we would really like to begin, or at least move ahead in your progress as a beginning jazz musician, or a beginning improviser, maybe I should say, is um, working at playing the blues. Now, the blues can be complex of playing jazz. You know, um, there's a term you may have heard, call and response. Call and response is just a typical way of uh, making a statement, an answer to that statement, and then finally a conclusion. So in the, inter in the um, uh, clip you just heard me playing, I was doing a lot of call and response style playing. You know, I started out with a lick, if I remember correctly. <laughs> So there I've got a four bar call. I, I played it again pretty much. Maybe a little variation, a little extra turn or something in there on the second statement, on the second, on the restatement of the call. And then a conclusion. I don't remember exactly what I played, but... is because we're going to relate a lot of things as we go along to the numbers. We've got a very basic formula, numeric formula, for learning the blues scale. Now this is always in relation to the major scale. We're going to relate things over and over to the major scale. Our blues scale formula, and the key we're going to work with is F concert, that's G on tenor sax, and D on alto sax. That's um, one of the most common keys for learning the blues in. Now, the formula is we take our G major scale or our D major scale or whatever our major scale is. You can see on the screen, I've got the examples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our blues scale uses one, and then we want to locate the third, and we want to lower that third. We could call it minor third, or often in the blues scale case, we'll call it the flatted third. So we've got the one. Our third on the major scale is B natural. So the flat will be B flat. We also have the fourth tone. Four on our G major scale is C. We have the flatted five. That's uh, so if we locate our fifth, one, two, three, four, five, we find D. We want to flat that, D flat. And we also have our perfect fifth right out of the major.